Jeff Morgan Tucker was born on December 4, 1894. He grew up in the Louisville edition of McKinney and was called Morgan by his family. Unfortunately, his father, Otto Tucker, died before Morgan was even five years old. The 1900 census shows that his mother, Susie, was a widow who worked as a washwoman and that only six were surviving of her nine children. Morgan's maternal grandmother, Phyllis Knoll, lived nearby, as did many cousins. By 1910, Morgan was 15 years old, in school, and was the first generation of his family able to read and write. The United States formally entered World War I on April 7, 1917. As required, Morgan registered for the selective draft that year on June 5th. He was 22 years old, living on his own in Dallas and working as a porter. Morgan was called up and enlisted a year later in July of 1918 and trained at Camp MacArthur in Waco for two and a half months. In October of 1918, Private Tucker shipped out to France on the cargo liner Talthibius with Company I of the 816th Pioneer Infantry. Of the 1,800 total passengers of that voyage, just under 1,000 were African-American Pioneer Infantry companies. The Pioneer Infantry would be the first into an area to ready the way for battalions, clearing safe passage, and constructing roads and bridges. They performed a very important service that contributed to the success of American units and led to the eventual armistice. After the armistice, which occurred about three weeks after Private Tucker arrived in France, there was still a tremendous amount of work to be done in order to exit the war. Performing the most somber of duties, thousands of pioneer infantry helped to collect bodies and body parts from the battlefields in France before the coming of winter. They made sure that all of our fallen soldiers received an honorable burial. More than half of American World War I casualties were flu-related. The influenza pandemic of 1918 through 1920 caused between 20 and 50 million deaths worldwide. An estimated 675,000 Americans died of influenza during the pandemic, which is approximately six times the number of American casualties of World War I. Private Jeff Morgan Tucker died of flu-related pneumonia in France on December 19, 1918. He joined the men he helped to bury in the St. Mihiel American Cemetery in France. There, the honored dead are together, regardless of rank or ethnicity, as a band of brothers. At the request of his family, Private Tucker's body was eventually returned to McKinney in July of 1921. His funeral was attended by numerous family members and he was reinterred at Ross Cemetery. It is unclear how or if his grave was marked at the time, but unfortunately, as of just a few years ago, his grave was unmarked. Almost a century after his death, Private Tucker received a military headstone just a week before Veterans Day 2017. There are no known photographs of Private Tucker. However, the World War I Museum in Kansas City has a series of photographs of his company. It is very likely that one of these men is Private Tucker. During the Collin County History Museum's commemoration of World War I in 2018, local artist Rachel Wrighton sculpted the likeness of Private Tucker from a composite of these photographs and a live model. McKinney is very proud of Private Jeff Morgan Tucker's service and grateful for his sacrifice.